Well, I, uh, honestly, I think we should have started off this segment with a. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. 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 Rocky, Why? Baby, tell them, tell them. Rocky Road, a beautiful, decadent, easy to make, and utterly delicious dessert. The best part of it, uh, it combines chocolate, biscuits, and marshmallows, and makes it a beautiful, sweet treat loved by kids and grown-ups alike. And Chef Clem is going to be taking us through how to make this tempting. Rocky Road, very, very tempting. And ideal, I think, for Father's Day as well. It's very sure. rugged, very kind of like, hey, Dad, here's your treat. And then Dad just smashes it on the plate, just prod, and just breaks up. And Thanks, he just child. Takes a breath. Thank you, child. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> 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 this right. one does work though mm -hmm. because it's a kind, it's a very safe kind of cakey shaped thing you can yeah. make for your dad. So it means the kids could get in the kitchen and the Excellent. big kids like me as well. Yeah. This is ultra delicious and this is like playing the combination of salty and sweet and why it works so well together. Let's so first thing, cool. I've got some chocolate which I've melted over a double boiler mm -hmm. and all that means is I've got a pot with just, just simmering water. Yeah. Put the bowl over it. The bowl must not touch the water else it will, it'll kind of burn the chocolate, chocolate will cease mm -hmm. if you don't want that. Yeah. You can still eat it. Yeah, but, but you want no. it to be nice and flowing yeah. and creamy, delicious. For so sure. And another easy, boiler. another easy way to melt your chocolate is the microwave. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Thirty second burst every time it comes out. Give it a quick, quick, quick stir. After about a minute and a half, super Jeez. beautiful and delicious. Okay, good so, stuff. All right. It's a four ingredient Rocky Road. The first ingredient is an option. It's butter. It adds extra richness Ooh. to the chocolate. Okay. It also gives I'd a bit say of a, yes for that option. Mm, okay, because you said so. You said so. <laughs> so that goes in there, and there's enough heat in there to melt the, but, the butter through. Mm -hmm. Now, Rocky Road's all about the filling. Mm -hmm. Marshmallow has to has to be there. But no one said you can't use coconut toasted marshmallow. Oh my word! Even more flavor that comes into Even it. Even more flavor. Toasted coconut is an absolute like favorite of mine. Yeah. And marshmallow, it's okay. I kind of like marshmallow, but when you combine those two together, I'm You're winning. so happy. So you happy. are winning all the way. So you get those at Woolies, of course. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna break them open and then just. What's hang? up with me? I am strong enough for these. What's up with these buttons? <laughs> <laughs> to make sure the to make sure the kids don't get to them. <laughs> Guys. This is hilarious. Oh my goodness, wait. I think I've been punked with all these bags. Wait, no, like... third time lucky. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> it's hectic. I th <laughs> you might have to call dad to help you open the pack. That was amazing. <laughs> I think it's, I think you're right, it's to keep all the people out from like snacking on the marshmallows. Uh, okay, goodness. yes. So, don't cut it too fine. Keep it nice and chunky because you want to know what you're actually eating when you actually eat your Rocky Road. So I'd say half is fine. Yeah. And you can over, you, you can actually overload your rocky road, and then it just becomes not stable enough, not firm enough. Okay. So be, be careful, but don't also skimp on the ingredients. Okay, good. So toasted coconut's going in, and I'm keeping some on the side for chef snack. Okay. Then lovely stuff. Ralph said he loves peanut butter, and I said I have a little bit of peanut butter surprise. Which is peanut butter, fold, salted pretzels. Oh, Riley boy, what do you think of that? I mean, I'm gonna. All right, yeah, I can see him. Yeah, yeah, he says he wants, so I will not use all of it. I think that's enough for Raoul. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay, cool. that, yeah. So these can and go in. And you can still have some of the Rocky Road as well. So. Oh, oh, for sure, all for good. sure, for sure. And I'm not going to break this up at all. I'd like to keep them whole. Mm. Okay, cool. Then, our third ingredient, and we were talking about all these amazing rusks and biscuits. Yes. That little amazing kitchen from the boiler, that magical place. Oh, that place where the deliciousness is kneaded, baked, and just, just loved. And that's why you can taste it, right? For sure. Yeah. You've been trying some of the rusk. What have, what's been your favorite so far? Oh, man. So, so the, the all brand was really good yes. for me. But Classic. then um, I got into the really rough cut, almost like torn apart muesli. Yes, uh, rusks, and yes, those absolutely. are amazing. They've That's got like delicious. whole, um, they've, they've got whole almonds in them. Can I, can I grab that? I think it's this one over here. Can I just grab it real quick? This no, is so th those are the nicely cut ones. I'm talking about the ones that they just like. Oh, the, the rough ones. The rough ones, yeah. the shorter ones. But I think oh, cranberry and seed rusks. Wow. And it's vegan. Oh, they But I mean, go. sometimes when you say vegan, you think it's missing flavor. Not at all. Not at all. It's got Not all at all. in spades. These are the ones. Okay, I'm actually going for another little one of the treats. Falls in the category of biscuits and rusks. It's dry. Mm -hmm. You dunk it. Mm -hmm. It's a shortbread cook cookie, right? Yeah. These are going in. And uh, they're coming fingers. I'm just going to break it up just like that. Oh, wow. There's a lot of texture. A lot of texture. And, and of course, um, shortbread has a lot of butter in it as well, so even more flavor coming out. Made with real, real butter. Real butter. It's like you would make it at home. You bake it home? You actually have been cooking. I, I, You've need, been cooking. To, I need to get to that, that kitchen in the Boerland where all this beautiful deliciousness is made, this, these treats that I enjoy so much. Just, I just want to walk through the kitchen and just say thank you. <sighs> thank you, auntie. Thank, thank you. Welcome, my money. 
Danke, Tani. Danke, Tani. Just, just thank you. Thank Danke, you. Tani. Danke. Absolutely. Oh, wait. What? It's delicious and brown. We it's delicious must and brown. get down. Ah, <laughs> uh, South Africa, are you with us? Yay! Hey, when? We. What do you know about this? Ah. Uh, Oh, it's so That's good. It. Everybody's in the background getting a little dance on. They yeah, their thing. look at Tubby. So he can't even keep his mouth closed. Like, what is that? It's just, ah, hey. What are they looking at? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so again, this is a great activity, a great way to get your kids in the kitchen. Oh, yeah, man. we know it's like very decadent, very delicious. You're not doing it every day. It's for Father's Day. Get the kids in the kitchen. Mm. Then you get your springform tin. Mm -hmm. You can do this in like a normal baking tin. I like a springform tin. And everything in the cake shape. We've been okay. doing that. Yes, 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 yeah. absolutely. So very important to line it with baking paper. To help you get it out. But Kat, which one are you using? I'll be using the wax paper. P point it out, point it out. Boom. If you were on a game show right now, yes. I'd be sending you home. No, oh, no. I'm so sorry. Why? I'm so sorry. This is baking paper, this is wax paper. Wax paper is wax line, but what it does is if you're baking with it, it actually fuses with your cake. It will actually melt into your cake. Yeah, okay. And Let's you know it's wax it. paper because wax is shiny. Yes. The paper is shiny. So Baking paper is matte. Matte. It's matte. matte. Okay, there's a difference, <laughs> okay. so you'll know that. Don't worry, you can come on next week for... Each one, You'll each try one. again. <laughs> yeah, so what you're gonna do is, just to be safe, line your spring form tin. Pop that into your baking tin, pop it into the fridge three hours later. I say overnight's always okay. best. It Tell sets. That's easy. Let it just settle in there and you've got your beautiful rocky road ready for Father's Day. Thank you very much, Chef Clem. Check it out on our website, expressoshow.com. For all the bad jokes, big hugs and times he's made you smile, get him a little something to say thanks.